Jennifer. Hi, I'm Kim. And, and you're, you're watching, watching the Corvette, Corvette Channel. Channel. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we're going to be putting on some infotainment screen as well as instrument cluster screen protectors for my C7. Now um, the uh, protection screens that I've got here are from ScreenProtect.com and I'm going to put that information right here on the screen and they have also given me a, uh, a discount code of 10% that you can use and that's the Corvette channel is the code and I'm going to put that here on the screen also. Um, this also helps not just from the scratches but all the fingerprints and smudges and things like that that you get over time and you'll probably see that when we jump in the car uh, that you end up with the fingerprints. Well this helps stop that. So um, this little kit uh, you'll see that I'm going to jump in the car and I'll show you but it comes with a uh, little, little spray bottle, all you've got to do is put a little bit of water, a little bit of soap into it and I've already done that and then we've got the, uh, the cleaning protector and the film and when you go to order one of these um, you can choose to order just one film or you can pay, I think it's an additional $14, $14.95, something like that and they will send you another additional extra one. So. You know, I guess if you have two C7s or whatever car you're buying it, I you could do that. Or if you make a mistake when you're installing them. But it really, I think it would really take a lot to be able to mess that up. Um, they just, it looks very simple to do. So we're going to find out here right now. So we're going to jump into the car and we'll show you how it's done. All right, guys, we are in the car. We've got our, our package here. This is how it comes. It's our screenprotect.com. All right, and we're just going to go ahead and open this up. Now, like I said, all I did was just add a little bit of water and just a hair, a little bit of soap here. You can see that. So I've got that, and then it comes with the um, the double films. I elected to get the double ones, so I'm just going to do one of each, and then I'll just set the other one up here on the up on the dash for right now get it out of the way all right so we're gonna set those there and then it also comes with our uh, wiping cloth and our squeegee they've got it all nicely packaged up here now hopefully you guys can see really well I've got a pile of lights going on inside the car here and I don't know if you guys can actually pick this this is a really nice rag by the way um, I wouldn't call it a rag, it's a very nice plush towel. Anyway, and it comes with uh, the, the squeegee. But uh, I'm trying to be able to make sure that you guys can see this, and I don't know if you guys can see all the fingerprints that are on my screen, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take some of my, my stuff here, get that primed. I'm just going to spray this on here. You don't have to spray a lot, just get it, get it damp, and then go ahead and wipe your screen off. Get all of that, all your fingerprints, get it all off because you're going to be covering it up. We'll spray a little bit more here. There we go. And I don't have oily hands guys, but man alive, I got like all these little finger smudges all over everything. So, I guess while I'm doing this, I'll go ahead and I'll do this over here to get rid of all of the, the dust because I don't normally touch that screen in there. We'll get that all wiped down. Just like that. So, this car is a 2014 and, you know, the this main screen is in pretty good shape but as you know I do a lot of working on the cars and I see a lot of these Corvettes that come in and their screens are are damaged in one way or the other they've you know somebody's touched them they've scratched them uh, you know you have whatever it may be um, this is going to kind of give your screen a little bit of lease on life there I don't know exactly why my screens came on but I'll go ahead and I'll shut that off. 
So let's go ahead and we're going to start on this one first and then we'll move over to this one because this one's a little bit easier to learn from. So, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to spray the screen, just get it damp, okay, like that, and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to peel this back. And hopefully you can see that. I'm just peeling it. You want to grab it right on the edge, make sure your hands are clean, okay? And then what you're doing is you're going to spray both this side as well as this other side. So you're going to spray both sides of the film. What that does is it helps keep the film from sticking to itself. And with the little bit of soap and water that you've got going on here, it allows it to basically almost set itself right up. So all you're doing, it just allows you to move it around, get it right where you want it, just like that. Okay, that looks like it's pretty much centered itself already. Make sure there, just like that. That looks really good. So then at that point, you just come back with a squeegee. Now, what you should do is have your towel here, because you've gotten a little bit of spray on it, right? So you can wipe that off. But then what you can do is you can start, what they really want you to do is to start in the center and work your way out. Okay, just like that. And you just do this, and wiping up the water at the bottom. Now there's, it's such a little bit amount of water, it's not going to get in there and hurt anything, guys. Just don't get crazy with it, but the few mists that you're, you're putting in, not a problem. Okay, so there's that. And if you see any bubbles, just try to work them out. Don't really force them out. Um, if you're, you know, like right now my garage is about 75 degrees. A, you know, a nice hot day outside, and those bubbles will just evaporate really, really quick. If you're doing this really, really in the cold, <laughs> then yes, you may get some bubbling, and depending on how much exposure to the heat and sun that you're getting, um, it may take, you know, a few days up to a couple weeks for all the bubbles to disappear. Okay, but they will evaporate and then the bubbles will go away so you don't have to worry about it. And so now, as you can see there, that looks awesome and no bubbles. So we're gonna move on to the next one. Okay, and they're all, like I said, they're all pre-cut here so it's really, really easy to do. Hopefully you can see that, it just kind of goes up and over and around like that, typical C7 cluster. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put, we're just gonna spray in there. Like that. We'll spray this one down. Okay, get that started. And then we'll go ahead and we'll start over on this edge here. And what you can do if you want is just to be safe, is spray it as you peel it. And then that way, if it does flip up on you, it's not going to stick. Just like that. Okay, because sometimes these things can, you know, sticky, anything that's vinyl, uh, it can, they can actually get like, I don't know, electrically charged and then they'll want to roll up on you. So, this one didn't do that, but now we've got it all, all nice and damp. Now we can go ahead and we can get this dialed in exactly where it goes. Then go ahead and start squeegeeing out all of the all the bubbles and the wrinkles. And I don't know if you can see them. There's some right in here. I'll try to zoom in on it, but there's a few of them right there. And you're just going to literally just kind of push them down. And you're going to push down, and some are going to pop up. And you just kind of do that. It will start to get tacky, right? As you get the water out, the... the um, the screen will actually start to get rid of the bubbles. And you just have to kind of go over it a little bit at a time. It's because of the compound curves that are all over this, this particular uh, cluster. 
just gonna hold it here for a second and see what happens. Oh, so close. So close. Oh, when I used the rag right there, it pretty much went away. Okay. And we got it. And guys, that's all there is to it, okay? So guys, you can see just how easy it is to install one of these screen protectors from ScreenProtect.com. Be sure and go to their website, ScreenProtect.com, and use the code Corvette Channel to get your 10% off discount. Guys, thanks for watching today, and I hope you have a great night. Thank you for watching the Corvette Channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe.